not going to wait any longer. I'm going to get a book, and then I'm going to my room. Does your draw for tonight, Jeff? I'm not that bad. Then stay a little longer. We'd like to have you. Jeff, you've already invested 267 minutes worth of waiting. Surely you can appoint an additional 10 cents for it. All right, Mr. Fiscal Friend. I guess my curiosity is good for 10 minutes more. I wonder what she's like. Miss Lily says they are one of the wealthiest families in America. That's bad. She'll have an expensive camera if she can't work, or raise by an artist I've never heard of. Nick has money for me. Do you have money, Fairy? Yeah. Let's not be prejudiced about money. Some of my best friends are wealthy. Play us something, play for us something, Hannah. Help distract Jeff. Well, you catch me tuned. What do you want to hear? Surprise us. How about a gypsy rhapsody? No, no, no. Don't play gypsy music. It frightens me. Frightens you? Terrifies me. You see, when I was younger, I was captured by gypsies, and I was rescued just as the bath. They were about to dye my skin with walnut juice. Well, <laughs> <laughs> <But> it was. <laughs> Go ahead, Hannah. I wonder if she likes music. Maybe she plays an instrument. The harp. Oh, I hope she plays the harp. Sorry, Hannah. Go ahead. You know, I was raised on the harp. My father played the harp. He played like an angel. Sorry. Jeff, what are you doing? I'm trying to get a book that's on the shelf. Barry, get the book for Jeff so he can listen to Hannah. Sure, no problem. I'll flip the chair. Uh, no, that's okay, Barry. I can get it. No, 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 no. How do you know she has his wings work, Jeff? Men climb mountains. The light's been in here. Yes. People give the strangest books to this library. I couldn't get into forbidden to bet. You know, it's amazing what standing above people does to you. You know that I feel smarter than anyone in the whole world. It's the yellow one. That's there in my blood. My mother invented the violin of the New York Public Library. She's the queen of cross index. And she dated Dewey Decimal. Fairy, I'll get Jeff's book for you. I don't even know. Musicians shouldn't work. I'll get the book. Hmm. I'm looking to get it. Don't get dust in your eyes, Fairy. Oh, well, I'll try not to. I don't know how I'm going to reach it. Can I come to my limbo?
imagine she gets the blue room. Uh, uh, I hope she isn't beautiful. Oh, this is disgusting. Well, you tried that one in a hurry, Pedro. I wish you wouldn't call me that. It's a pet name my wife used to use. I forgot. And I wish you wouldn't single me out to kiss. What would my wife say if she'd come and visit me? She'd explode! She would if I know her. Can you please try to remember? I'm sorry, Jeff. I forgot. I won't try. Wait! I'm going to Hello? Hello? Hey, hello? Yes, Dr. Evans. Right away. Great. Bye-bye. Hi, -bye. you get up the dog for me. Let's not flood the place, darling. We want to make a good first impression. Is uh, Lily coming now? I don't know. <laughs> Now, we haven't had anyone good here since that magician's wife. Remember, she was all nerve to be so and half so much? What was her name? Something hyphenated. Oh, I don't know. But she had color. All my relations are just so drab. Both my parents were albinos. Really, Fairy, you should have been such things. Well, they were. Emotional albinos. Hmm. Don't peek, Fairy. It's so degrading to get on your knees. Let me see. Something. See anything there? No, got it quick. What do you see? Uh, some strange people coming out of Dr. Rummett's office. Who? One, two, three people. And they're coming this way. Let's go spy. Is that ethical, Jeff? Almost a good point. Oh, we can call it espionage. Come on, Miss Patty. Let's go spy. I'll call the lights, please. It's not right to let people enter a dark room. This is the last time I'm going to be a party of spies. It's simply room time. I'm sorry to have delayed you. I was anxious to have Dr. Johnson question your mother. This is quite a pleasure to have here, Doctor. We have been so relieved to have found it so cheerful. But then we were assured that your place offered the best that money could buy. We hope to offer the best experience can provide. Uh, something I'd like to ask you. Will my mother be exposed to any, shall we say, danger here? Not at all. The guests in this wing are in their final stage of treatment. They're extremely kind and cooperative. On the surface, most of them would seem quite as normal as, say, yourself, Senator. You don't say. While we're waiting, I'd like to ask a few more questions about this memorial fund of your mother. There's a little more to tell. She planned on using it to give away the entire savage estate. The newspapers called it her happiness fund. Was this indifference to money something recent? I wouldn't say so. She's always giving money to foolish causes. Could you be more specific? <laughs> well, there was an Italian farmer who wanted a box of soil from Italy. Just dirt. Mother spent over $200 to get it for him. And a flower peddler who wanted a tombstone for his horse. <laughs> Hi, old silver. After father died, the succession got progressively worse. Last year, she chartered a ship to send a thousand school children around the world. Why? She said that they ought to go around the world while there was still a world around. 
We stopped her just as she was on the verge of setting up this fund legally. With a board of directors? With a, what's the word I'm looking for? Unbelievable board of directors. Not a bishop, a banker, or a lawyer among them. Who did you choose? A postman, a gardener, a veterinarian, and herself. We should have known her mind was going to the she decided to go on the stage. That. Doctor, have you ever heard of such a case? I mean, what would make a woman of her age suddenly decide to become an actress? Unique is your team here, Senator. Nothing surprises us. Oh, come on. If she'd been talented or even vain, we could have understood it. But she wasn't. She, she was always quiet, even timid. Then suddenly this amazing change. Creepy. You know, but why turn to acting? Life has enough drama. God knows. Isn't that right, Doctor? As Judge Savage said, God knows. And I wish you could explain that teddy bear. Obvious exhibition. Exactly. She took a childish delight in being seen everywhere with that teddy bear. Anything to indulge in her sudden love of notoriety. Her entire conduct is a travesty of dignity and self-respect. And sound business. <coughs> Senator, could you tell me, has there ever been a similar pattern of behavior in your mother's family? Uh, frankly, I don't know. See, Doctor, she's not actually our mother. Father we married when we were children. But it has never made any difference in our feeling toward her. Well, I'm afraid I can't be of much help to you until I've had time to observe her conduct here. <coughs> You're that doctor. And I know she'll be comfortable in such a charming place. I wouldn't mind staying here myself. This is no place to laugh, Samuel. But we encourage laughter here, Senator. We think it's healthy. You do? Definitely. It's good therapy. For as Byron says, if I laugh at any mortal thing, it is that I may not weep. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Oh, I beg your pardon, Doctor, but Dr. Johnson won't be able to complete Mrs. Savage's file for today. Why not? Well, he finds her a little uncooperative. That's mother. Then bring her in here, please. Yes, Doctor. While you're all saying goodbye, I'll have a talk with Dr. Johnson. <coughs> oh, Dr. Emmett, please don't go. <coughs> yes, Doctor, please. <coughs> uh, we think the, the shorter we make this, the better for all concerned. She's vindictive. For some reason, Doctor, she calls me responsible. We just have to give her a little time to get over the resentment. Right this way, Mrs. Savage.
scroll down to the wall, Florence. I'll check. John Collins! You won't hurt, will you? Christ, why should I? I do more than check. Well, suppose you tell me what John Collins did. My son. What did you think he was? Here? Yeah, he was born here.
things that would have shocked poor old Jonathan. Like drawing your hair blue. That and, and studying ballet and French and people. When I was a child, I knew I would have been a great actress. So with time running out, I decided to become one. But don't you think you've waited a little too long? Oh, I certainly do. Had I been a fool in my youth, no one would have noticed the difference when I became old. <gasps> oh, I don't think of you as old. No. Well, having peeked over the traces myself, I learned once again the importance of unimportant things. And how did you do that? By establishing the Jonathan Memorial Fund. It's the foundation I set up to give people the foolish dreams that they've always wanted. And that insane idea has brought me here. Well, it isn't that unpleasant here. Well, at least I learned one thing from my French lesson. And what is that? What I am. A mort canard. That's a dead duck, I think. Oh, it isn't that bad! You see, one day you'll understand that I was always quite sane. One day you'll realize that a great injustice was done me. But here I am. And you'll know how to keep me. A few foolish years of pain. Well, we're going to this way. I know, I'll get there. You see, if people were walking along the edge of the floor, it saves running out the middle. Turned out to be her daughter, and I had red hair and died in my 
motors on every night and two matinees a week, just as the curtain straw. And the jury whispered, not guilty. Oh, it was the best time of my life. But what did the notice say? Well, the time said I set back Peter 50 years, which is impossible because I, I stole the plot from Adam X, and that's only 40 years old. What do they say now? But the Wall Street Journal was great. It said I brought something new to theater. Money? Really, Barry, money isn't new. Oh. It said I had a tenacious mediocrity unhampered by taste. <laughs> but that isn't good. Oh, it's perfect. You see, in our ad, we simply ran tenacious and unhampered. And you ran a year? Yes, and we would still be running if my daughter hadn't come and closed the show down. Oh, I know I was horrible. And the audience is only came to laugh at me. But we both had a good time, and that's what counts, doesn't it? I miss it, Jeffrey. But then again, I suppose my turn's coming soon. I don't think that was very nice of your daughter, Mrs. Savage. Whoa! No, don't! Please don't do what, Harry? Look, she's gonna read the paper. Don't! Don't read it, Mrs. Savage. Don't read it! Don't it make you unhappy? What's the matter with you people? Read. Don't read it. Don't read it. Don't read it. Just don't read it.
Somebody knowing about it. Who said I spent it? The newspaper says you did. You can't believe everything you read in the paper, Doctor. You see, I didn't spend it. I couldn't. It's too much money. So I hid it. You hid it? Oh, well, you see, I converted it into a neat little bundle of half a million dollar negotiable bonds at Taxi Chase. But why? I don't ask you what you do with your money, Doctor. 
I'm sorry this happened, Mrs. Savage. I'm afraid your hidden treasure is going to prove a great disadvantage to you. And that's because you're a doctor, and doctors never know the true value of money. Do you know how long it would take me to earn that much money, Mrs. Savage? In a year? I, I could possibly get that. Oh, excuse me, doctor. I just came back to get my violin. Barry May wants me to play music for her while she plants a seed. Just a moment, sir. You're a statistician. How long would it take the average doctor to earn $10 million? About 10 minutes. <laughs> years and years and decades. Good thank you. Thanks, Hannah. Well, goodbye, Dr. Emmett. Goodbye, Mrs. Savage. Now what's the doctor up to? I think he knows him a black man. Um, Hannah, if you were to look at me, would you say that I'm worth $10 million on the hook? Never! The human body has only 20 cents of phosphorus in it, 5 cents of iodine, and 20 cents of calcium. Well, at base prices, the human body is even worth a dollar and a half. So now what you're saying is the best I can possibly value is a dollar fifty? No! You said worth. Your value is not to be estimated. Thank you, Hannah. Can you play something for me? Because at the moment I feel like that. Splendid! What do you want to hear? Oh, anything. I'm very good at the flight of the bumblebee. Yeah, play the flight of the bumblebee. You see, nothing could be more appropriate. The bees fly home to find the honey is missing. Play, Hannah, play. Come on, girls, get stuck. Congress. And West 
Western Union considers him their most tangible asset. If he's so unpopular, why do voters keep sending him back to Washington? Oh, there are no fools. It's the only way to keep him out of the state. <laughs> the other son's a judge, isn't he? Well, that's a That's because he's made it one. He has the distinction of having more court decisions overturned than any other man in, in jurisprudence. Oh, but what about the daughter? Is she any pretty? Well, they have a picture of her in today's paper. You can go to yourself. Don't read a painting from the paper! I'm not. I'm just going to show you something. Well, we don't look at pictures either. People are always thinking of their stuff. Oh, don't worry, I'll just put you to see if it isn't horrible. Oh, it's not horrible, Carrie. That's right. Oh, she's a queen! Look, she's wearing a crown! A queen? No, that's a tiara. Where is it? 
my mother one moment of clarity. Shut up.
you're absolutely right. So get it filled. <laughs> get it filled, Samuel. You know I'm going straight to bed. What else is new? Samuel's leaving without you. I simply refuse to believe that they're next to the petunias and under the roses. No, next to the roses and under the petunias. Oh, in any case, I don't believe you. We want to stop 
listening and sneak away. What if we did? We make too much noise. Oh, it's okay. It's no secret. Try to get the paper. But you don't need the paper, so you wouldn't know. Oh, did you really hide all that money? Indeed, I did. For my memorial fund. And now you're giving it back? You know, you're very generous with your size and weight. But did you tell the judge where his share was? Yes. Do you remember that description? Well, that was really a note saying dig under his chimney in Boston. <laughs> well, why did you hide it if you were going to tell them where they were? What makes you think that I'm going to give the money back? We heard you say it. Foolish I am, but I'm not that foolish, dear. Whatever is in that stuff fish or under the chimney or under the president's petunias, I can assure you, is not my bundle of bonds. Then why did you say that they were? I want to see to what extent they'll make fools of themselves. But how do you know they'll believe you? They want to believe me. But they might consider it degrading to go out digging. They'll dig. How can you be so sure? You see, there are a million things that a man will do for five dollars. But there aren't five things that a man would do for a million. They'll dig. Play that violin. Man, can't she play? <laughs> <laughs> Man. 
but she does all the time, every single minute of the day. And I can play the piano, but I don't. Don't you find that funny? Not very. now. Oh, yes. Uh, 
here the Washington Post. Be just outside if you need me. My headache's gone. Uh, How dare you? How dare you make a fool of me? You knew that old chimney would fall if I started pulling brick, didn't you? Well, we're not very bright, family, now are we? <laughs> oh, you must be proud indeed. The name of Savage held up in ridicule again. Did you see China? H FBI. <laughs> so why didn't you tell the papers the truth? Sleepwalking. Be creative. You thought I'd think of an excuse with eight men on your chest. She loved the chance. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Lily Bell, what are you? What? I found the answer! Huh? On the cover of this medical journal! But I have some doctor on my 
first. Aren't you going to sign that petition, Lily Bell? Don't you sign anything until I get that. Lily Bell, what are you doing? Lily Bell! Uh, what could she possibly have read? God knows. Something to trick you. And if you listen to her, you'll whine without a cent. What am I doing? Hmm. <laughs> Finish it. And be quick about it. You ought to have had a signature is all that's necessary. You're writing with a pen upside down here. Uh. <laughs> How many T's of commitment? Three. Two. One. <laughs> it doesn't look right. Oh, give me the pen. All it has to say, commitment was ill caused. We request release. Will that satisfy you, Mother? It will when you sign it, dear. Sign it, Samuel. But what are you doing? We are signing the letter, Lily Bell. Now sign it. <laughs> Lily Bell, you're going to regret that. You have no right to act without consulting us first. Shut up and read that. Read what? The article on sodium pentothal. It's... Oh, well, perhaps I better let Dr. Emmett explain. Would you tell them what sodium pentothal does, please, doctor? It basically uses the case of shock. Mm -hmm. It releases tension, removes the patient's inhibitions, and makes them more receptive to suggestions. It's called the truth drug. That's not quite accurate, however. But under its influence, the patient does respond truthfully to whatever questions she's asked. If she responds at all. Now, do you understand? Did you want me, Doctor? Yes, just a moment. <clears throat> doctor, get some of that drug immediately and administer it to my mother. Don't I have rights too, Doctor? <laughs> May I say something, Doctor? Surely you're not going to listen to these people. That would be a flagrant misuse of science. Doctor, I order you to give some of that drug to my mother at once. Mr. Savage, if I refuse, your guardians are well within their legal limits to remove you from my authority at once. Then let someone else be responsible. Ten million dollars hidden from you does no one any good, least of all you. It remains an ever-present symptom of psychotic thinking. Now's your chance to prove you can make a rational decision. The intelligent mind will recognize your defeat. Well, then let it be known that I was not forced down to my knees by science. I will show you where the funds are. There are.
present is responsible for this fiasco. But if, 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 what would you suggest that I do, Senator? <laughs> Search that woman! She may have hit them on her person. I'm afraid that's going to be a problem. Then search everyone else while we concentrate on making her talk. Very well. Miss Willie, will you please take Mrs. Savage to her room and search her carefully? No, 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 no. Take me. I'm the youngest and I address the quickest. What do you want to do with Mrs. Savage? No, you can go, Fairy. I want to stay here. I don't want to miss anything. Thanks. Then come along, Fairy. Did you know that I was once asked to play Lady Guy in the Elf pageant? Then use the truth drug. The truth drug, yes. Get some of it. We'll administer it to her and we'll find out what moms are. I'm afraid it's out of the question. I need her guardian's consent. Fine, who's the guardian? Her husband. We'll get him on the phone. Where is he? Japan. Oh. Uh, in his absence, haven't you the authority to ask? We still no proof she took them yet. I still think Lily's off the girl. Oh, will you stop saying that? Uh, Jeff, to answer. Yes, Jeff. Since Mrs. Savage can't have a bond anyhow, I think I can help you. Yes? Mrs. Patty didn't take those bonds. How do you know? Well, I took them. I knew we were being tricked. He's a thief. Hand them over, young man. I'm, I can't. Well, Jeffrey, did you take them? Yes, sir. Then what did you do with them? I... Barry doesn't have the bonds, doctor. Speak up. I, I threw him out the window. Go outside, Frank, and try to watch. Stop! Hi, Gigi! They're all the Amethia. Yes, yes. I'm going to throw them out the window. The window's closed. Oh, it's stopped. What do you mean by misleading us? Let go of him, you stupid ass! Well, he did it, and I happen to know he did it. Then how do you happen to know that? Well, that's none of your business. How do you know, Billy? Doctor, during all this confusion with the lie cap, I held Jeff in my arms. I didn't want him to get hurt. No, that isn't true. The lady's lying. I took the no one out. I was nowhere near the table. 
Can you identify the scent? I think so. Well, are you partying yet? No. And what fragrance do you use? send you to one of those public institutions. <laughs> we are savages. Goodbye! Goodbye! We only say goodbye to people we don't like. I can take your ring, it's too 
not very good for you. But and you knew Jeff was my husband, didn't you? I certainly did not. Well, he is. I want to be here for him when he recovers. And do you know why I didn't take any of that money? Pure selfishness. I want to do everything I can for Jeff myself. Surely you understand that. The only thing I don't understand is why I figured my phone. But then again, I suppose there's something about no school, like there is about an old school. Oh, something, but that doesn't apply to you. Does anyone else know about these? I did tell Dr. Emmett. Well, whether you like it or not, we're both going to be here for my memorial party. Now, now. I talked to the medical examiner. Yes? The station wagon's outside, ready to take you whenever you want to go. Um, Miss Willie, will you take Mrs. Savage's things out of the car? Yes, doctor. I have a few papers for you to sign, then you're free to go. I don't want to leave, doctor. You mean you prefer to leave tomorrow? Why do I want to leave tomorrow? Why do you want to stay? Simply, I'm weary. I'm like stressed. I'd like to be protected against suspicion. I want to be free of uncertainty and accident. I want to be able to close my eyes at night and know that I'm warm and dark yet I can see. The piece you find here is just the moon reflected on a dark lake. If you strike the surface, you destroy it. Is that the kind of peace you want? I want what everyone else wants, Doctor. Who wants that? People have that contentment. How do you know? I have eyes to see. So has Jeffrey, but he only sees what he wants to see. An excuse for not facing the future. Does Florence see that her child was taken? Does Barry see what the mirror should tell her? No. They found refuge in this eggshell world where you don't belong. But you see yourself clearly, I'm sure. Then where do I belong? In the world you can best serve. The impulse to live your life with courage is right. Go ahead with your memorial fund. And don't be fooled by the illusion of contentment. The door is open for you. Make your peace with loneliness. Oh, I'm glad you're still here, Mr. Savage. I just thought of what I could give you. Oh, Tom, I couldn't take part of this. Oh, no. You couldn't play it. <laughs> I thought I could give you a song that you could take anywhere you go. And here's your song. <laughs> 